Now going over to the cultural part of the podcast, or rather the political part of the podcast. Again, I am not a doctor. However, if you click the subscribe button, it very well may assist with my speaking ineptitudes. As the story, or as the show has gone longer and longer and we've done more and more episodes, it's slowly increased. There's been a modicum of improvement, as have the increase in the number of subscribers. And I suspect there's a correlation there. So if you click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. So again, apologies. Going to the political part of the podcast, you have Vivek Ramaswamy on the World Economic Forum going viral on X Twitter. And this again comes from Vivek's individual X Twitter profile. And he was on Fox Business a couple of days ago. And the statistics for this were all written 24 hours after it's posted. So again, there's no gotcha question or no gotcha. Oh, hey, you only got two views after 18 minutes. Well, obviously, it takes time. Now, it's a quick little two and a half minute clip. And before the clip, Vivek says on text, quote, the World Economic Forum is really, is really just an old Europe Old world Europe rearing its ugly head again. We fought a revolution in 1776 to say hell no to the old world vision. It's time we say so again. self governance over art, uh, art at uh, these ways. Again, my speaking of two sometimes no, no bounds. He says self governance over aristocracy is what makes America great, unquote. And again, within 24 hours, it's got 1.3 million views and 31,000 likes. So as youth might say, it went viral to say the least. Although I don't think the youth really snaps their fingers anymore. Truth be told, I don't really know anyone who does. But nevertheless. They're demanding, you're going to love this, uh, uh, Vivek. They are demanding that we have an international criminal court prosecution of, wait for it, something called ecocide. Ecocide. This is coming out of Davos. Ecocide. Now... Mm -hmm. I don't know what they think they're talking about. Uh, Mr. Trump or President Trump will never buy into that. What, do you, what does this crowd want? Everything they want. Global warming, John Kerry, uh, it's freezing out in Iowa. Nobody uh, seems to understand that. Big government solutions, big corporate solutions, not yep. small government, small business, entrepreneurial solutions. You know, Vivek, if, if you stay with Trump and you go into his government, I want you to go after Davos. You're going to be the special emissary to go to Davos and, and, and quiet that crowd down. I won't say blow them up because that would be wrong, but quiet them down or give them a facelift or do something. We're not, we're not going to quiet them down. We're going to shut them down. That's what we're going to do, Larry. And I think that you ask what's motivating them. Here's the answer, Larry. It's just like every three-letter agency here. We should think about ATF, CDC, Department of Education. Education, that's a three-letter multilateral institution, WEF. Mm. My answer to all of them with acronyms is shut them down. Mm. What they want is old world Europe. You ask what they want. It's actually a revival of old world monarchy that was skeptical of self-governance. That's what King George believed. That's what the kings of old world Europe believed. And we fought a revolution in 1776 to say that for better or worse, we the people, the citizens of this nation, engage in self-governance. We're the ones who decide how we fight climate change, whether or how we fight racism or jizz. We the people make those decisions at the ballot box, not in the mountaintops of Davos. This is that ugly monster of the old world rearing its head again mm -hmm. in the avatar of Klaus Schwab and Larry Fink and the others who speak that old world vision. And we should say absolutely no to that vision. We're a self-governing constitutional republic. That's what it means to be an American. And that's what it means to stand for our 1776 ideals in this country. And you have my word, I will stop at nothing. You know, talking about peaceful means, of course, but stop at nothing, legally and otherwise, to make sure that these people are put back in their place and we have true sovereignty in the United States well, of America. Let's Yeah, I was going to say, it is quite concerning, and many people would say scary, they have unelected bureaucrats across the globe that want to control everything you do day to day and prosecute you. Now, perhaps I'm alone in this assessment, but let's go to the comments and see what the top folks are saying. Mr. Paul Suzupa says, quote, WEF is a bunch of unelected, out-of-the-touch globalists who have no place dictating anyone to anything to anyone, especially considering their hypocrisy where they talk about climate change yet fly private planes everywhere they go. The U.S. shouldn't waste time with the WF or UN either. Unquote. They got 207 likes. Nate Boutica says, quote, Vivek has done humanity a tremendous service with his relentless effort to educate the public. Far more are aware of what we now face, of the importance of this moment uh, and the eternal struggle between good and evil, 
as a result of his choices, his words, and his actions. I quote, getting 214 likes. Joel Fisher says, quote, I love Vivek more and more. So to the point, he truly loves America. I quote, getting 145 likes. We the World comes in saying, quote, Indians didn't fight in the American Revolution and globalism has nothing to do with the old Europe, unquote. That got 382 likes and more of a contrarian statement. Sam Rigo says, quote, all the WEF wants is control and power. It's why they are limiting the food supply and why they plan to move everyone into smart cities, unquote, getting 18 likes. And quite concerning when you see governments seizing the means of production especially for the food. I was going to say, I know public schools in the United States no longer teach history for the most part, but if you read history books, that's usually when the most evil, most morally vacuous things happen. Nevertheless, back to the comments section. God and country says, quote, that's the Vivek we all know and love. I'm glad you're still allowed to speak the truth with the MAGA camp. I'm quoting 99 likes. Leon Carson says, quote, I really love this man. Every single word he says is like a bullet. I'm quoting 94 likes. Cal Reese, dun 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 dun. Again, if you do not, it is fascinating how vital and important soundtracks are and sound effects are for movies. If you don't know that movie, I, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Or the name as well. But Kyle Reese says, quote, Millie said that we need, said what needed to be said there today. That's a good start to letting them know their ideas are terrible. Unquote, getting 70 likes. See, Vivek Ramaswamy quotes, A plus for marketing. The profile picture is in fact of Vivek Ramaswamy. It is also a quote. The quote goes, <coughs> Excuse me. Our movement must live on. America didn't start in 2006. America first didn't start in 2016. It started in 1776. We owe it to our founding fathers to do the right thing for our country. Unquote. Getting 55 likes. Baz says, quote, you're so right. Did anyone ever vote Klaus, Klaus into public office? No. Unquote. Getting 49 likes. Let's see. Benjamin... Hinson said, quote, in 1776, we had to clean house. The house is, filth is filthy again, unquote, getting 31 likes. Clark says, simply says, F the World Economic Forum, unquote, getting 47 likes. Asian Jesus says, quote, Vivek is mainly on steroids, unquote, getting 21 likes. So, yeah, looks like only one or two contrarian statements with an overwhelming majority. Absolutely positive about Vivek and his movement and assisting Trump. Again, at the end of the day, it'll be fascinating to see in what capacity does he continue to be a part of the Trump campaign and what kind of position does he get at the end of the day and where might he be most successful. And let me know in the comments, are you concerned about the ever-increasing power of unelected agencies and governments throughout the world and organizations that have more and more of an impact and control on your day-to-day -day life? As always, be fascinated here, what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in today. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of January, so click that button. I greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a comment and a thumbs up or a thumbs down is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.